Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakurash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, to the brothers doing the work in sincerity and truth. Shalom to you. Uh, we are the Hebrew Israelites, the GMS camp north, uh, from in Las Vegas, Sin City. All right, we're coming out here another weekend to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom, America, Babylon the Great. All right, and we're going to continue in the spirit of prophecy because there's a lot of things going on in the world right now. We're in the latter days, okay? So we got a lot of things to talk about, okay? Um, we got the brother right here. You want to introduce yourself? Uh, Ashiyarukar. So we got our brother coming down, you know, to prophesy, you know, every anywhere we go, we, we automatically link up with a brother, you know, we, we automatically, we sync, all right, we know what we, what we got to do, okay, so it's just another day, we're here prophesying, and uh, let's get to it, you know, we, uh, we're going to just go with the spirit, you know, we got various topics to talk about, you know, every, we, we might start something now, but if the spirit will lead us to talk about something else, Okay, and that's just how it goes. So that song real quick, pick it up. Second Nazareth 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs which it's like the, when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that at this very same time <coughs> wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which is made. So we're measuring the time diligently. You know, we're measuring the time. How do you measure the time with the scriptures, with the prophecies? The Bible is that is that measuring stick. Okay, we're, we realize, we notice, we can discern the times that we that we're living in. Okay, and these are the times that the Heavenly Father spoke about that would bring the end to this uh, uh, this this present world. All right. The second Ezra 16 and 37. It reads, Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. And when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, within two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. God, this is the, hey, the plagues that are coming to this place, that's the wrath of the Heavenly Father. He's, he's, he's going to punish the, the, the world for their iniquities, all right? He's going to punish the wicked. And the wicked of our people, the two thirds of our people, so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, that don't want to get right. right. Okay? And these plagues are coming down upon the earth. They're, they're not going to slap. All right? They're, they're, <coughs> like it says in Habakkuk, yeah, it, uh, the vision is yet for an appointed time. All right? And the, in these these visions that, that were seen by the prophets in, in the uh, thousands of years ago, they're, now we're living in those days where these prophecies are actually coming to pass. Okay? And it's, it's going to be, be plague after plague after plague that's coming down upon the world. But especially here in this wicked place called America. Okay? The Heavenly Father got his eye on this on this wicked kingdom. Well, uh, you know, in the scripture, uh, it says, uh, second heaven, it says that the Lord is going to return the plagues like he did in ancient Egypt. Right. Egypt. Uh, and this America is the modern day Egypt. Modern day Egypt. So you go back in the book of Exodus and read it on those plagues. Lord got something in store for this place. You know? yeah, this is uh, 2nd Ezra 15 and uh, to the point uh, 10. It says, Behold, my people is led out the flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer him. The flock to the slaughter is this society is set up to uh, destroy the people that have statues of the commandments that should govern their life. Society has our people going off into all kinds of wickedness and darkness. Adultery is rampant amongst our people and in the world anyway. Uh, drugs, uh, adultery, idolatry, all these things are just uh, 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 demonic in vibration, but our people aren't supposed to be embracing, but they embrace it as the world culture of the day is leading them to destruction as a flock to the slaughter. Now is the time that we are, uh, that, 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 that the prophets are out here teaching you and the teachers are showing you what you should be living by. Okay, what you, what you should, the way that you should be conducting yourself. The, 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 the signs of prophecy that you should be watching. Okay, you got yeah. And then we see <laughs> what the German boy's name was, but he said uh, all they need is one generation. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And, and they got this generation right now, man. These niggas are gone. All the way gone. Uh, reading on, it says, 
I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with the mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plague as before, and will and will destroy all the land thereof. Hey, when, once the smoke settles, when it's, it's all said and done, America, as you know, it's not, it's never going to be the same. This, this land is all going to be desolate when the Lord is done with this place. You know, but but those plagues that we're talking about that uh, the Lord plagued Egypt, ancient Egypt, that's coming back, and the Lord is going to do new things to this place. Right. All right, new plagues, but plagues that are not written down. Right. All right. But we know we know right now what to be prepared for this place. You know, we got famine in the, on, on the horizon. All right, we got we got so, uh, civil unrest. Okay, we got uh, 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 what's that uh, that, that, that word? Uh, Sedition. 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 Yeah, 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 right there. Yeah, right there. I'll keep reading it. Uh, verse, verse 12. It says, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundations of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that Yahweh will bring upon it. <laughs> and, and, and why is the Lord going to punish this place, though? Is, is it under serving? No, it's, you know, why? Well, well we, we, have a, we have a lot of examples as to why the Lord is going to punish this place, man. This, this place is out of control. There is no order. Okay, everything is out of order in this place, starting with the people who rule it, starting with the people who rule this system, yeah. this beast system. The law says the man is supposed to govern the earth. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this society breaks every law of statute for man that the most I set forth. So that's why this place has to be controlled. They break every law. And what what friend you have said, uh, I think it was Reagan, that America is founded on, on the Bible now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they made America say this is a God-fearing place. But yeah, you got women freeing the nipples. Right. If it's, if it's God-fearing, women should be in modest apparel, hand yeah. covered. But yeah, they give these women all these liberties. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right, uh, first, uh, oh, so too, I know what I was going to say. That it's this uh, place, right? <laughs> the main plan of this place is going to be these thermonuclear missiles from World War III that America is going to lose. Okay, you have, that's a prophecy that you got to understand. Wouldn't you act accordingly if you knew that you were bound by God to, to lose in a war? This place don't heed he, the warning. But we're, we're, we're telling it to our people that are amongst this place that can hear this, the elect. 144,000 in the one third. So hey, get yourselves right, the rest, the undesirable, they got a prophecy, they got to go there. But, but that main plan is going to destroy all the undesirables of our nation as well. We are yet to see that happen on such a grand scale, particularly with the Lord's people. I guess this was Egypt, I mean, uh, uh, the Noah flood. And he, this is why this is called the second death, and that Noah flood was the first death. I, and, and if you uh, go to Genesis 6, I think, <coughs> the behavior that's going on in, those, in the world right now, it's, it's the same thing that was happening in those days. Amplified it's, now. No? Worse. Yeah, way worse. Way worse, yes, exactly. Now it's on a worldwide scale. You know, it's worldwide. I mean, if you really think about it, uh, it sounds fast. It, it wasn't, it, you know, it was it, it was a thing to get a sex change, but it wasn't common. Right. Why is it so common now? Little kids can get their sex change. Yeah. Like, so, that lets you know how worse it is now than what it was then. Uh, reading on it, verse 13 it says, They that till the ground shall warm, for their seed shall fail through the blasting in hell and with a fearful consolation. <laughs> Woe to the uh, to the world and then that dwell therein. Well, I, mean, I want to elaborate on that last point. You've been noticing the last couple of years we've been getting a lot of uh, natural disasters. Yeah. A lot of a lot of floods. All right. A, 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 a lot of uh, a lot of hurricanes. Earthquakes. Earthquakes. Droughts. All that leads to the damage of your food supply. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All your fields and crops getting. Uh, Decimated livestock, yeah. And then we can't forget all those uh food processing plants, mm -hmm. it was all mysteriously just, just, shut down. just getting, getting burned, burned, down, burned, down. burned down, burned down, yeah. you know. So, you don't know, like right now, you still might have supplies of food coming into your stores, but you don't even realize that with time, yeah, yeah. That, that supply gets affected, so yeah, it starts. It, it starts to uh, decrease. Yeah. So that's why you're going to start to see. That's the reason why right now you see an inflation in uh, the prices of certain foods and, and goods. 
Go, go, uh, beyond meat. talking about young supposedly healthy people like athletes uh children Remember him? Yeah. He was nice. Yeah. You already know what did it. Yeah. You already know what took him out. That, that wasn't one guy that said he wished he had a fit. Another uh -huh. guy that was in the MMA said he wished he had a fit. He ain't been fighting since, man. But I ain't been right since. Trying to get him to do it so he can get back in the ring. Yeah. He can't even get healthy enough to yeah. get back out there. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but you can't even pity these people. Man, yeah. I'm telling you, know? you know? for that dumb shit. You can't. Hey, there's people that we. We've been out here, the imposters and the others been out here for decades, man, warning you not to trust the devil. Yep. Letting you know what's up. You know, giving you the rundown of, your, of who your enemy is and what he's trying to do. Yep. But, but hey, our people just don't want to listen. Yeah. You know? Who's your pity? Who's your pity and charm or that pity? Right. Uh, surface. 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 Yeah. You can't, or you know. That comes out of yeah. You, you, you trust yeah. a, damn, uh, a damn fucking surface, man. <laughs> <laughs> That all the characters are one. He's being cool because he's sitting there with this motherfucker pulled up and stuff on him. What are you doing? Hey, that's, that's what the, happened. The, the, the joint that Apostle, uh, Apostle Rakai always, always mentions how the, the, uh, the old lady, she, she found the snake that was dead, yeah. right? Yep. So she came right yep. into her house, docked yeah. it up back to good yep. health and shit, and then they turned around and just bit the bitter. Yeah. Like, bitch, you know, the snake, the fucking thought was going to happen. Shit. Like, you know, <laughs> That's what I do. It's in their nature. Yeah. Some people don't understand Esau's nature. Thanks, y'all. That's why they get caught up. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's, what, see, that's why that's a hot topic uh, right now, too. Who, who is Esau Edom? I'm going to say it like that. Trying to figure out what people are what people. Well, the characteristics tell you who everybody is. <laughs> yeah. 